Linux includes many, many commands and tools <clears throat> for working with text, working with strings of data. Any of those can be useful in scripts. Commands commonly found in scripts to either search text or manipulate text include the ones on this slide. Grep is very commonly used to search for text, either to find the text and use the content of the line that contained the text, or just to determine whether or not the text is present. TR is a command used to translate. It takes input text. It has a pattern that says what to look for and another pattern that says what to change it into. The cut command is used to extract parts of lines from an input text and produce new output text with that data either rearranged, removed, or changed in other ways. When you need to do tasks more sophisticated than what these can do, <clears throat> the SED and awk stream editing programs can be used. Both of them have a wealth of commands available for modifying text. Both of them understand how to deal with those commands as a script. And you can actually create said scripts and awk scripts to do advanced manipulation of text. All of these commands that we've discussed so far are separate commands from bash. When you run them, they make a new process. That can actually create a lot of overhead in the system if you do a great deal of this kind of work. And some of the functions of these commands, MASH can do using the expr command. The expr command allows you to specify an expression to be evaluated. If the first thing in the expression is one of expr's subcommands, then you can go ahead and give some data on that for that subcommand to work on. As an example, there's an index subcommand. If you use the index subcommand, you can specify a string to search in, some text to look in, and something to look for as a pattern. It will look for that text in the string, and if it finds it, the output will be a number, which is the position of that text in the string. It gives you back the index into the string where that text is. If the text is not there, you'll get back a zero. So you can tell if the text is there or not. That's like grep's function of testing whether text exists. <clears throat> it can also be used to identify where it is so that you can do other things with it. And there are a number of other subcommands to expr. There is a link on the slide to the Linux documentation project that has lots more detail on how to use the expr command for string manipulation. All of these commands have good manual pages. SED and awk have been discussed in many tutorial websites. There are links for an, a tutorial for both SED and awk in the resource list on the GitHub course website. The best way to learn these commands is simply to try them. <clears throat>